again we are back and the hall setup is same as yesterday's but the well, only one thing is the differ is the motor this motor is came from the hand drill its number is rs550 as we can see on it it's based on 7.2 volt and you can see even it stops it take more than uh, 3.5 amps and uh, I already connected this multimeter in ampere mode in 10 ampere range from the battery to the circuit in series so you can simply see the dropping or draining ampere range in the dial and even at idling speed it dropping more than 1.5 ampere and uh, I fed this unit to a 3.2 amps battery and you can see here it's almost running uh, high ampere it's dropping more than 5.33 amps almost 99% throttle and at uh, full throttle you can see it's dropping more than 5.5 uh, amps you can see here and uh, I set the clock here you can see it's running almost one minute now uh, I don't make fun of the meat <laughs> because I took it from scratch but we can nice you can see the motor is running very fast and I uh, must need to add to it to return it on table or it will fly and uh, you can see the transistor is nice and uh, I haven't added any additional fixing to it and uh, it's looking nice uh, you can see still it's looking nice it's almost two minutes now it's running at full throttle and battery is getting drained you can see here and the motor is flying off <laughs> you can see here the horn wiring is changed to a higher wiring because motor is dropping more than 5 amps and then to a check the other functions reverse oh, it's dropping more than 6 amps you can see yes it is working nicely reverse power reverse power Reverse Powered You can see here 
is still looking nicely and there's no any adverse effect on it. I'm losing my sound because I got a call the last day and sorry for that. <laughs> is decreasing because my battery is already going off. 